you got it up by nine, where did it go wrong from there? Well, you know, I think we had a couple empty possessions. You know, when we didn't, um, we didn't get any offensive rebounds. Um, and then, uh, you know, they, uh, they did a good job of attacking uh, the middle of the zone. We had a, a couple breakdowns defensively. Um, you know, we had a great shot at the end. Um, you know, Candace had a had a pretty good shot. You know, point blank range. It didn't fall, and um, they get the rebound and, and go down. And um, you know, they got a great shot. You know, they cleared out and and, and got a great shot. So um, hats off to them for um, you know making a play at the end. You know, we had a chance. We didn't make the play. They had a chance. They made the play. There you have it. What's the mental state of this team after this one? Well, I mean, they're competitors, you know, so they're disappointed. Um, but you know, they're, they're ready to get back at it. You know, they're ready to get back in the gym and figure out, you know, what things that we, we need to do to, to kind of get over the hump. And, you know, I think, um, again, when you, when you talk about the last three games, um, you know, you're talking about, what, five, six points, you know, we're, I don't know what, five, six points away from being undefeated. So, you know, it's, again, it's it's um, very early in the season. Um, we've got some things that that we can show up. Um, and, and we've got to get a little bit more consistent play. But, you know, getting consistent play out of really young kids is, you know, that's that's a tough thing. But you know, the mental state of them is they're, they're just ready to get back at it. They're, they're disappointed in, in how the game ended, obviously, but um, they're confident that we'll make, make the necessary adjustments moving forward. How hard is it to find five that can actually play together for extended periods of time on the floor? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough. Uh, we're still, we're still finding, finding our rhythm. We're still finding our identity. We're still finding our chemistry on the court. And, you know, as a coach, you always, you know, want it to come sooner, as soon as possible, sooner rather than later. But, you know, that's part of the development. You know, that's part of the development of this team is that they have to, we have to find our, our identity. We have to find our, our rhythm, you know, at our pace. And um, I, I honestly, I, I think it's getting a little bit better each game. And even though it's not necessarily resulting in wins at this point, it, it will. It will soon. Um, so maybe, hopefully, you know, going on the road, maybe that'll. I was going to ask you that. Yeah, but maybe that'll that'll uh, sleeping in a hotel. Maybe maybe we need to do that a couple nights. Yeah, I was going to ask. It, does maybe some of the advantages that you think of uh, of being on the road and being in a tournament together? What are what do you think some of those things are that might help you? Well, you know, I think sometimes when you know when when you when you have a couple couple of tough games, a change of scenery is great. You know, so a change of scenery might be good for this team. Um, and and we go down to go down to, go down to Georgia and and face some you know different teams in a different venue and and see how that works out for us. Uh, certainly, very uh, very proud of our team's effort. Um, you know that. Penn State's going to be a, a really good basketball team as they keep getting experience. Um, so uh, for us to come in here and, and have a, a little adversity be down a few points late and to, to be able to come through it is, is something that, that will help us keep as we keep moving forward. Um, you know, I just I thought we really battled um, to, to be able to contend with them rebounding and, and to limit their scores inside. And I thought we controlled tempo pretty well, and they're so fast and so explosive to the basket. We did a pretty good job of limiting that, too. So. Um, you know, certainly something we, we were really focused on and really proud that our kids executed that. The, the last shot, did you feel like, uh, you didn't call a timeout, did you feel like they were maybe scrambling a little bit and that's why? A you... little bit, yeah. I don't really like to call timeouts there. Um, I, I think the game gets overcoached a lot with those situations. Um, I liked where our matchups were. There was so much time there too, we could kind of evaluate where we were and I, I thought we had the ball where we wanted in a pretty good matchup. and. You know, Nyla made a great play, and um, her teammates did a really good job spacing the floor and kind of understood she was going to take it there. And even if she missed, you know, we're going overtime. So I, I really, I, I, either way, it was going to be the way we wanted. So, uh, you know, she made a great play there.